Hello everybody, this is Sinric77 coming at you today from my YouTube channel uh, with part 3 in the uh, Razel series. Uh, in today's video we are going to discuss the stubby Razel folder done in the ram's horn handle. Go ahead and open that up and lay it down for you all to get you an eyeful real quick. Uh, we are talking about a 5 and a quarter inch long overall length that's 5.25 inches overall uh, with a 3.25 that's three and a quarter inch long closed uh, weighing at 4.4 ounces uh, let's see the blade length is two inches with a three quarter inch chisel tip uh, Blade thickness is at 0.13 inches, done out of an 8CR13 MOV, as the other two razors are done in the blade steel, uh, with a rock weld from a 58 to a 60, with a dual satin finish on this one because I've done some touch-ups to it, with, as usual, the hollow grind and chisel grind on the uh, belly and tip of the blade. Uh, the uh, frame lock, which this is a frame lock, uh, because that's just totally exposed the lock is and it's the frame so it's a frame lock, not a liner lock. Uh, the liners and frame are done out of a 2CR13 stainless uh, with one pocket clip on this one y'all, no auto locks no dual clips, just the one clip. It's a nice little knife. Uh, as y'all can see, uh, the dual finish on this, uh, when I got this from the factory, the edge was kind of hokey. Uh, so I resharpened it, and that's all those scratches are from that y'all can see has been me trying to get a finer edge on this. Uh, the chisel tip was fine. So now it has, you know, your plain satin finish and a high polished brushed look because I did take some sandpaper to it and wet sand uh, your belly, the chisel, and the swedge on both sides so that way you have a very nice shiny uh, contrast to just the plain old brushed uh, satin steel. Uh, See, the handles, the scales, are done out of ram's horn, which I really like, uh, really like a lot. Uh, we're going to pull out the Pet Boy special flashlight here, and I want to show you all something. Get down right close. Y'all see that? The handle scales are almost translucent, uh, which gives them a very nice uh, look to the edges of them. Uh, I know my iPod is not going to do it justice, but it, it almost looks like uh, a really old, really thick fingernail is the only way I can describe the uh, translucent nature of these ram horn scales. And the cool thing about having the ram horn scales on this one truly makes this a honest to God virtual uh, custom piece because each knife will be different. None of these will have the same type ram horn uh, scale on them or anything because no two ram horns are grown alike so it's an everyday custom piece it cost me twenty eight dollars grand total including shipping uh, but this was coming from like Seattle when I ordered it uh, they range in price anywhere from fifteen to like thirty five dollars online uh, so you can find them just about anywhere uh, this is the last folder in the uh, series. Uh, yeah, uh, the rest are all three going to be fixed blades. Uh, this one does have a mini flipper on it. But I have my blade tightened down a little bit, so the flipper is not doing it any justice. But I can still pop it out like that. <clears throat> it's a good little knife, y'all. Uh, it's a bit bulky. Uh, it's really heavy for a knife of its size, but it feels really extremely solid. Uh, the jumping done on back, 
uh, is nice and deep as you can see besides what's done on the scale uh, these liners right here uh, the frame there we go uh, they're not deep enough for me and plus with the edges right here being rounded off to make it more comfortable in your hand they also rounded off the edges of this jumping too which really just took away from it so you get really good grip past the uh, blade stop slash thumb stud right here uh, but you really do get a good bite on it on it and as you can see it fits well in the palm of your hand so when you go for a thrust cut or uh, something like that or or you're push cutting something uh, it will go right into the palm of your hand uh, taking a bro uh, the brunt of all force coming off of it so uh, it's not going to go anywhere it really locks in your hand quite nice even with just a, a three finger grip it looks really really nice in your hand uh, it's a good little uh, blade, y'all. Uh, once again, I believe CRKT knocked this one out of the park besides that little issue with the uh, edge of the blade, but I'm not going to complain about that when I can fix stuff like that myself. Now, if it came to me and it looks serrated, I would definitely call the company, company uh, and pitch a royal bitch about it, but no, I'm not. I didn't. I fixed it. I don't whine. I do. So, and I do love the new shine that I put on that blade there, y'all. Ain't it nice? So, uh, please comment. Please rate. Uh, if you are not subscribed, please subscribe. And uh, I hope this is further y'all's uh, knowledge and education of CRKT razors. Uh, I hope this has inspired you to go out and buy one. Or at least go out and handle one for a little bit. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, and y'all have a nice day.